This video is based off of a translated interview with Ludmila Savchuk. It has been edited and condensed for viewing purposes. The building at 55 Shulushkina Street is quite a modern one. It was constructed not so long ago. You wouldn't see anything in that building. It's all behind seven locked doors, as they say, and all the windows were curtained. There was security at the entrance and cameras all over the place. At the troll factory, mostly the young people in their 20s work. Wages are high for people of this social standing, often much higher than those of doctors and teachers. That's why people go there, for the money. The thing is, they had quite a strong security system inside. Yet, when they were hiring people, since there were too many to hire, it looks like they didn't have the ability to check everyone thoroughly. So, they made mistakes. I wanted to stay there for as long as possible and to see their methods, how they work, how they write their comments. My first day was January 2nd, 2015. Trolls were spread by the departments, depending on what they've been working on. Social media, YouTube, media commentaries, blogging, and so on. There was this cast atmosphere at the factory. The social media commentators who were writing brief, often offensive comments were basically considered the lower caste of trolls. People writing and speaking English had higher wages. They were working on a separate floor and basically they were the elite. It was a woman possessing psychic powers, a fortune teller, someone who had prophetic dreams and helped people resolve their problems. So our team tried to hide the political advertising and political propaganda inside all of the magic themes. The aim of the trolls is to represent human appearance. The main thing is not to copy paste. It's strictly prohibited. You have to write from yourself, with your own words, following the assignment, but as personally as possible. It's completely welcome there to create facts from scratch in order to create a certain impression. When a person comes to the troll factory, they'll receive a list of topics that the factory is working on that day. That includes what event happened, and then what should be written about it, and to what emotional state the troll should bring the audience to. These topics, this agenda, it's absolutely identical to the one on Russian TV, which is basically a propaganda machine. It's Russia's successes and, of course, Vladimir Putin, who's being praised every second. Thus, the U.S. is always among the top subjects on that list. I managed to stay there for over two months. My materials were published simultaneously in two newspapers. When they finally figured out that it was me, they invited me to their office. They went through the CCTV footage and saw my suspicious behavior and that I'd been taking pictures with my phone. My investigation came to an end. I realized how dangerous that situation was, and I literally ran away. I want the troll factory, its every employee, and most of all the leadership to be punished for their actions. Because this is now a problem, not just inside Russia, but also in countries where elections are approaching. I'm really afraid of when Russian propaganda skillfully diverts from the real international issues, topics that draw us away from solving life problems inside Russia and all over the world. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.